What if Eldar sided with the Imperium? Hey guys, welcome to this showcase video. We've got something really interesting and special today to show you. It's a commission that we've completed for an Elder army themed after the Custodians. Our client has some awesome headcanon about their Eldar force, and we've been asked to paint it in the same sort of color scheme as the Custodian Guard. So this awesome force comprises of loads of great models, including lots of Wraith constructs. We've got 15 Wraith blades, we've got three Wraith seers, and then we've got three Wraith lords, as well as 15 rangers, plus also a couple of far seers. So a really great selection of miniatures. Um, as mentioned, they're painted in the same color scheme as the Custodian Guard. Uh, the really, really vibrant, rich, warm gold, which I think looks great from a distance and really close up. A great force with lots of interesting units. So let's jump in and have a look at some of the units from this really awesome force. Uh, let's jump in and have a look at the big guys first. So we've got three Wraith Seers, which are a really awesome model to dominate the main sort of uh, line lineup of the force. Uh, now Mark, who's worked on this, has had a real great time working on all the gold and all the details, all the different sort of uh, runes and stones that are all over the, ca the carapace. But most specifically, the weapons, um, they've all been converted as per our client's request to give them all a little bit different kind of look, which is quite cool. Um, these have kind of almost got like a kind of like gun sort of stave blade kind of effect, which is really, really cool. Um, and as you can see, you've got some really lovely gold all highlighted nicely through different stages, plus those rich reds that you can see on the sort of loincloth and a really nice use of blue for the gemstones across the carapace as well, which is just really cool. I absolutely love the desaturated base on them. So they just really contrast massively against the miniature, which is great. And as I mentioned, there are three of them. They're all posed in different uh, different different poses so you can this one's just standing with the, the sort of uh, the weapon sort of held upright this one's obviously got red stones on it as well which is really cool again just to denote that miniature and also make that stand out in the force just make that individual seer kind of looking a little bit different from the rest so that's the other one and then the final one again in a really different pose kind of holding the spear with one arm as if he's about to sort of maybe lunge or attack with it and he's got loads of green sort of stones across the the gold work as well which is just really awesome uh, so that's the three wraith seers from the force so let's have a look now at the Wraith Lords. And again, there are three of them in the force. And I absolutely love what Mark has done as per a client's request and converted these to look like they're wielding rifles, which is just awesome. As you can see here, you've got that double kind of like um, shuriken cannon that's been sort of amalgamated into one rifle, uh, which I think is great. Again, really, really sort of stoic attacking pose, which is just awesome. Uh, again, you can see here all those red stones that are just over this one. Uh, the other one we've got here, again, I absolutely love this one because it's got this kind of like loincloth cape that's been done in it. And all the um, all of the, the stones are done like this purple with this really cool kind of like swirl effect on the stones, which is just absolutely awesome. Uh, I love the texture that Mark's also done on the cloth. I think that really adds a lot of interest to that specific piece of the model. Uh, and again, just really, really nicely executed and really sharp highlighting there on all the gold. Uh, again, these bases, these high sort of contrast dark bases really work extremely well with the with the model. Uh, so that's another one of the Wraith Lords. The final one in a bit more of an attacking sort of charging pose, which I think is great. Gun held up as if he's firing at something as well, which is great. And you obviously got to see the sword there that he's got. But again, really nice use of sort of colors for the stones. These are all green, this one, and every single sort of soul stone has been painted on the carapace as well. And all the arms and legs and everywhere on the model, which is just absolutely lovely. Uh, so that's the third of the Wraith Lords from the Force. Next up, we've got the core of the army, which is the 15 Wraith Blades. Uh, and again, these are in three groups of five, all armed very similarly with the axes which I think is really nice. You don't really often see them very much with the axes and you tend to see them with swords. So seeing them with the axes is quite nice. Again, every single soul stone on their carapace and legs and armor has all been fully painted. You can see there, uh, they've all been done and painted in that lovely rich red. Um, again, I'll pick out a few just so you can see from model to model and unit to unit. But again, really nice use of tones on the gold to add that rich kind of uh, sort of extravagant feel to them. And I love the cloth work as well with that really nice deeper tones on there as well, which is just great. Uh, so that's another one of the Wraith Blades from Force. And I'll just grab for consistency another one from the third squad and pull him out just so you can have a look. Again, I love the pose on this one, just a bit of a, a sort of guarded advancing pose, which is awesome. Uh, but a lot of time has been spent and Mark's really gone to town on all the soul stones across this force. There's, there's literally hundreds just across the army. So next we've got the rangers to back up the wraith, uh, wraith blades from the force. Uh, there's 15 of them in total separated into three squads of five. Uh, again, new lovely plastic ranger kit, some really cool posing options in this, the foot raised here just on a bit of debris, which is just awesome. And we've got these lovely rich red cloaks just to really work with that royal kind of colorway that these guys have got. Um, absolutely love them. They're, they're really desaturated dark brown there that just works as well, just so there's not too many bright tones on the models as well, which I think is great. Um, but really lovely work just done all the capes. 
Uh, we've got the squad leader here, just with uh, a, a bit of technology here, just to maybe aid with to aid with targeting. That's just this awesome bit of floaty tech that he's holding on to. Almost looks like a, a frisbee of some kind. Um, but just a really cool pose. Again, you can see that all the runes and stones all fully painted. All the lenses on the scopes as well were all done. And again, you've got some really nice tones just on all the cloth work there as well. So that's just one of the squad leaders. So to lead the force, we have two characters. We've got two farseers. Some really awesome work has been done on these. And let's have a look at the first of the two. Uh, I absolutely love the use of the purple for the hair on this one. She really has a great use of tones. Obviously, you've got the red for the cloth and you've got the purple for the hair. Um, the eyes have also been painted red as well, which I think looks awesome. It gives them a real sort of sense of like a magical kind of feel. Uh, all her sort of gemstones and soul stones are all painted in a purple to match the hair, which I think works really nicely. Uh, but again, you can see all the leather work has been painted. If we move the model around, you can see she's got a sword slung on her back as well, which is just really cool. That outstretched hand with all the gold work fully highlighted through various stages uh, to give an overall really lovely, crisp and bright finish. That's the first of the two farces. Uh, then we have the second, which I think is awesome because she's got like an imperial sort of uh, top to her stave, which I think is just really cool. Again, that sort of head cannon from our clients for this force, uh, just having that sort of imperial lineage as well, which I think is quite cool. Uh, again, you can see the armed with a bow as well. It's a nice little conversion work there, just a little bit of narrative from our client. Um, but again, really nicely executed. And all the soul stones on this one's armor painted in a green as well, just complementing that red cloth work and the uh, sort of bluish tone on the blade as well, uh, which just works really nicely. But overall, two awesome characters to lead this force. I do hope that you like this slightly different take on Eldar. Um, and uh, we've had a lot of fun working on it. I know Mark thoroughly enjoyed all different aspects to it. So if you're interested in a commission with us here at Siege Studios for an army like this or something a bit different, then why not head to the description of this video where you can find a link to our contact form on the website. Fill that in and send it off to get a quote from us for your project. From all the team here and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video. Before you finish up, do help us out by giving the video a like. Maybe drop a comment of what you think about it and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you ever so much. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care.